Welcome to the Salt Circle Podcast. My name is Hank. With me is Ben. I'm going to get right into it. Kill the Kill is probably the most complex feelings I've ever had on a single show before. <laughs> um, you were so worried. You, you Multiple times, you were like, Ben, if you hate it, we don't, we don't <laughs> just stop. And we don't have to fucking talk about it. I'm like, no, I, I want to talk about it. But I bamboozled you. The secret is, I hate this. But I also really, really like it. Mm. I think if I ever go back to it again, fuck the entire first half. I I can't eh. again. Uh huh. That's fair. Um, the second half is way better. I mean, part of so initially my my original run for anyone who doesn't remember, uh, I made it to like episode twelve, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm bailing on this. It's not. I just I can't anymore, and everybody, everybody was like, "Dude, episode thirteen is where it takes off." And I'm like, "Okay, like, fine." Honestly, I was like, "How did you make it to episode twelve if you feel that way?" And also, that's tragic because people <laughs> said it was good. I like, I do. I mean, I like, I understand that sometimes like stuff just finds its footing later on like i don't necessarily mind that i'm not gonna give every single thing i watched 12 episodes a doubt that'd be insane mm-hmm. but at the time like i was it, i wasn't watching anything else really so i mm-hmm. was like yeah sure I'll, I'll really give this an earnest try um this time around like i had been so long that except for the things i hated I couldn't remember anything else, so I had to sit through the first 12 episodes again. And I truly, like, <laughs> I had forgotten so much. I had forgotten that I forgot things. Um, uh-huh. And it was so much, like, I didn't care about the student council stuff at all. Like, it didn't, it, in the sense that it didn't bother me. Um, uh huh. Because, like, Whereas, the, like, the sexual assault. I feel like when so we first up. talked about anime, like, my. It, my the impression I got from the way you talked was is lo- student council stuff is the worst thing in the world. I can't just can't do anything with that trope. Uh, <laughs> is how mean, it I, felt when you talked about it. I've softened a little, but I think yeah. I just I think it's because there was a streak there, like this, uh-huh. and then prison school, and then food wars. Like it, it felt like every goddamn thing I tried involved it. Uh-huh. Um. But like, especially something like Antenna, it it fucking are they exerting their power over students on a minute by minute basis? Nah. So that's like two hundred percent fine. Is, but oh, he's not a student council. Though. He's a chairman. It's totally different. Okay, it's not even remotely the same. He's the he's, he's the acting chairman. Whatever. The real assistant, chairman is assistant sick. to the chairman. <laughs> um, Fiance of the chairman's daughter. <laughs> um, but yeah, this like the early stuff, the fucking like sexual assault stuff, just played for jokes is no good. Like I just yeah. no tolerance for that. But yeah, the horny dudes. Yeah, it's rough. it's a little much. Uh, also, like, fuck that dog. Not like not the worst part by any means, but just like while we're here, like, fuck you too. <laughs> um, but my thing, the thing that really pissed me off is for me personally. Everybody said episode thirteen, episode thirteen. That's where it pops. I'm like, okay, okay, and find like I was so ready when I finally finished episode twelve. I'm like, here we go, fucking new territory. I'm ready. And then just nothing. It didn't hit. So there was like, for me, for me, I would say like stuff explodes like maybe 16 and then certainly like episode 17. Like I lost my mind. 17, episode 17 was just crazy. <laughs> when she wakes uh-huh. up and she has like the, the torn like shawl and she's just slicing shit and she's pissed. That was uh-huh. fucking incredible. It was so goddamn good. And I'm like, all right, well, okay. 13, sure. You're wrong. All of you. (laughs) 
Well, that's but, just where the plot turns. Yeah, but it like turns a stupid way. <laughs> I mean, it didn't turn enough. Is is just it? Like, sure. It it shifted, but it didn't shift in a way. I like the way I. I mean, I I just took, I I took what people were saying like too far. I'm like, oh man, it's a complete flip. I was expecting like giant leaps, and it doesn't. It doesn't mm-hmm. quite do that. It's still yeah. a transition. So, uh-huh. yeah. uh huh, yeah. Things don't have like look. Nothing happens as cleanly as people want to remember it. Happening. Yeah, yeah. So, but part of the I think part of the the problem is that I watched this or I completed it after watching Promare. So uh-huh. I'm just like, now that I've seen Atena and I've seen Promare, I don't ever need to watch Kill a Kill again. I could just watch both of those things. <laughs> Uh-huh. And get like yeah, the halves yeah. where I enjoy. Yeah, I mean, I'd seen Utena before I saw Kill a Kill, but I'd yeah, seen Kill a Kill before I saw Promare. But the stuff that it does, like the the parts of it that I like, I really fucking like. Uh, I totally, mean, it it does a lot of shit so well. Um, mm-hmm. So like, I, I yeah, don't no, know, and it. Uh, yeah. it all, I mean, it, the, so the funny part to me is that you got to like episode twelve because I did not get that far even in my first viewing of it but but i left i didn't leave like negative it was just like this seems fine we'll we'll, we'll finish this at some other point and then like a lot of time passed and then me and my friend finally got around to like watching the rest of it and then like all i remembered was the second half basically yeah because <laughs> that's where the show becomes like interesting yeah yeah oh 100 <laughs> really percent. like yeah yeah, I just remember when I restarted it, and I had forgotten how, like, all of the sexual jokes early on. And I just remember, yeah. like, there was a small part of me, I'm like, fucking Hank watches this, but he can't watch an episode <laughs> of Log Horizon because a dude likes <laughs> panties. I see how it is. Well, I wasn't. I, I, it's yeah. fine, but I'm just like, come on. It could have, I mean, here's yeah. the thing. It could have, in Log Horizon, maybe it gets better. It doesn't, but you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I recognize generic anime for generic anime. <laughs> oh. Um, I'll say... And also, you know, maybe if I hadn't seen Kill a Kill before, it wouldn't play the same. I wouldn't be able to get to the good stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I if somebody you like saw did. it and they bailed, I don't blame them. Like, there's only yeah. If I'm, I, my tolerance. The thing for, is, I really like Rio, Ryuko. So that dude, carries a lot. It's so She's good. So good. <laughs> it's so good. Her design is great. Her voice acting is great. Like her as a character is great. Like yeah, it's all just it's probably the best part of the show for me as well i mean the music yeah. is really uh-huh. far up there but yeah yeah, yeah. It's super solid i love how the main theme literally says the plot of the show sings the plot of the show <laughs> it's like don't lose your way and i gotta find out who killed my dad <laughs> uh i also like i love mako <laughs> She's yeah. also amazing. I have what I, from what I've seen, from what I've read, it is a hot take. Mako, worst part of the show. Wow. I'm sorry. I can't. Your anime nah. and your yelling, you're literally taking <laughs> the spotlight, like, constantly. She gets that bison outfit, though. The best part was when the person told her to <laughs> shut the fuck up and stop doing her shtick. And I was like, thank oh. you. <laughs> I under, like, I I think it's fine, like, in the sense that I can, I can understand why people like it. Like, that motivational, you know, power of friendship sort of deal, but, oh, it was... It was fine the first few times that when it just never stopped. I was meh. Not a not a fan. Like she could have left. I would have been fine. 
Wow. They go on a they're gonna go on a date though. Nope. Part's amazing. Nope. <laughs> so good. She just asks her out on a date. It's like, yes. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Um fucking Why am I blanking? Cause it's, life because it's been a hundred years i did want like it's been so long now <laughs> it's been a hot minute since i'm finished this. i mean like also like when i was watching uh kill a kill i just see like mako as uh wakaba turned up to 11 the way everything on the show is turned up to 11 i guess yeah i suppose i could see that yeah she pulls her lunch out of her boobs. It's hilarious. Okay, well, that's not that's a <laughs> bit of a strong <laughs> adjective. <laughs> when she cries, it just pours directly out of her eyeballs. Oh, yeah, I mean, sure. She's an idiot? It's <laughs> great. <laughs> She becomes president of the fighting club? I mean, that part's good. Almost. Man, I hate her family, she, though. She, her mom is fine. Her, Goddamn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, her family's pretty bad. Uh, like, yeah, they're they're extra bad in the first half of the seasons. Yeah, yeah. The show also. Um, but I like, you know, I like at the end where they give... She gets the outfit first because it does the most for her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the four divas, like you, you're already good. She's fucking zero power level. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most, it's the most change. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just like her as like Ryoko's only friend. Also, I guess. Yeah, sure. Someone that. Ryoko actually just genuinely gets along with and likes. Also yeah. an element I like, so. Yeah. Sorry. I won't have you just plainly shit talk Mako. Stand I mean, Mako as a I can recognize the nuance while decent. also wanting it out of my face. Wow. I see both sides. <laughs> you just throw one of the sides of the garbage. Yeah, I'd see both well, sides. You see but, it. You know, <laughs> I want to not see it. Uh, so, I like what? How much of a cartoon character she is? I don't, uh, I don't watch cartoons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I watch experiences. <laughs> sure. I still just, I'm sh I'm almost positive. I might <laughs> still have the chat logs. I just remember the one friend that I like. He was a, a bit older than me, and so I looked up to him quite a bit. And you know, eventually diverged. But for a minute there, it was just like, yeah, he's into this thing. I'm gonna be into this thing. He was really uh -huh. adamant. That, except on a slightly technical level, Death Note was not an anime. Yeah, you told me this story yeah. before. Yeah, it's and just, I just... It was so incorrect. It's such an anime. <laughs> yeah, no, and at the time, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And now, in hindsight, I'm like, that's the fucking most anime of all <laughs> anime. What the hell are you on? Bud. I mean... It's just it, good times. Entirely an anime it's based on a, such a manga. Fucking, it's such a fucking <laughs> anime. He's like, well, yeah, in style. Yeah. Am I a... sure? That's what? one of what? the <laughs> one of the hundreds of thousands of ways that it's anime. Yeah, uh, classic. It's like saying it's not an anime. I like it. I mean, it that's be basically anime. okay. That's me with Mushi. <laughs> Mushishi, <laughs> I'll have you know, Mushishi is not a fucking anime. Don't you dare lump it in. 
<laughs> it's Japanimation. It's Japanimation. It. <laughs> Fuck. I forgot about that term. Japanimation. Oh, man. So, in just seeing what a lot of sentiment online was about Kill a Kill, I mean, obviously sure. very well liked. Like, a, you uh-huh. know, I, I didn't really see too much that was like people disliking it the one thing that i i just can't i accept i suppose like people sure. trying to make arguments for the um for the the main costumes like how revealing they are <laughs> and all that shit and it's uh-huh. like no it's about it's about being yourself and about like not hiding your. T- I'm like the dude wanted to draw tits, no. okay? Like you wanted to yeah. draw an ass. It's they fine. Drew, it happens. They Just, they drew the outfits and then they got to the nice message from there. Yeah, like <laughs> it starts with the stupid outfits. I just I can't. And then these people. I I I just can't. I'm like it's fine. Like, yeah, just there's a good it. Um, just own it. There's there's a great uh Prizy D video of like a a nerd defending that and then it's like cuts to the the original writer's like nah I just wanted to draw titties hell yeah oh <laughs> it's like talking about a boob window or something <laughs> <laughs> isn't that like legitimately what happened with like near near Automata or whatever. Like people asked him why he draws such a why why the protagonist is such a thick ass person and he's like yeah i just like butts <laughs> like legitimately that Maybe. was just yeah. outwardly uh-huh. so good i, I, mean, I like yeah. i respect it i don't yeah. like watching it it's all fun. the time but like i fucking you do you man this is your work yeah but people defending it just the th- uh, like i mean the thing i would defend is like kill a kill is everything about the genre that it's working in like turned up to 11 yeah so like it's definitely not here to like make you feel comfortable (laughs) if you like it's gonna do that the whole time so like if you don't like the outfits like you cannot watch the show it's fine yeah like if you can't deal don't watch it and i think for me like probably i just shouldn't have watched it like at all sure coming Mm -hmm. back like i mean that's why i I was like ben if you don't enjoy this don't watch it i mean (sighs) see but then i wouldn't have gotten episode 17 it's true it's like that's my 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 thing like i there was enough quality in it that i could see it going somewhere yeah um like they'd (laughs) there's enough in there like you've watched you 10 i hear good you're doing something uh (laughs) and they went somewhere like by the end it was really fucking good i love the ending of the show yeah. So like yeah. I love the ending of this show so much I'm like they made it why would they make another episode? Fucking <laughs> That's yeah. So I guess we haven't mentioned uh neither of us watched episode 25. I started it. It's fake. I started it. And then that was great when I messaged you cuz you again you thought I was talking about the whole show. <laughs> but I was yeah. like episode 25 is the hot garbage. Like, this is actually the worst. Ugh. I don't think I even knew that episode existed when I watched it originally. That makes sense. I mean, I was... I knew, If it was even available at that time, I don't even know. I knew it was going to do Probably one of two was. things. It was going to either just be, like, a nice little kind of boring but maybe sweet wrap-up. Or uh-huh. they were going to reintroduce a villain for no goddamn reason. And that's the one that they did. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I just... I. I care about this less than zero. It just, it didn't, it like the, it ends so perfect. <laughs> the end is so good. It ends at such the right, on such the right note. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't yeah. want need, you only fuck it up by adding more. I, don't know. I mean, you know, <clears throat> hashtag okay. star Wars, pirates of the Caribbean, Iron Man, 2008. <laughs> Throw Iron some Man, examples. Look, Iron Man's ending is not that good. <laughs> He says, I am Iron Man at a press conference. Yeah, then it immediately goes into the song <laughs> Iron Man. That's true. That's pretty good. And then the series, like the entire thing peaked. 
I shouldn't. Look, I, you got. You know what? Look, kill a kill. You get all the characters huddled up naked in a ball, and then you get Mako and Ryuku and Satsuki hanging out at the end, and Satsuki cut her hair. Yeah. GG. <laughs> That's all you need. That's all you need. I mean, should war criminals be forgiven, though? <laughs> like, yeah. Uh-huh. Luke forgave Vader and saw the good in him, <laughs> but, like, what about the rest of the fucking galaxy? What about all the other students that were subjugated? Well, I think that's it would what be... episode twenty-five should have been about: <laughs> the Nuremberg trials. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Oh, sh- sh- sure. No. <laughs> nope. What? That you? What? Nope. That's not a good idea for an anime this, epilogue. This Wild. Sh- yeah. It's almost like the show is. Mostly working and also in metaphor, and don't think about it too hard. I think about it too hard, which is okay. why which is why Utena was perfect. Mm, go Utena do it. it think about it too you hard. To think about it too hard. It's Overthink go deeper. it. <laughs> go deeper, dude. It's it's perfect. That's what I need. Well, this show they have a big ship and it's a big knife. <laughs> Literally just a fucking knife. <laughs> The big knife. Look, I mean, I just like when the characters yell things and then the big kanji appears on the screen about what they yelled. And sometimes they interact with the words that they said because it's a cartoon. Yeah. Fun times. That shit's good. Or like, I mean, some of the... Also, I just really like the way it like escalates as a series of fights. Like, it's so smart about the way it like the power level of stuff increases at a steady rate throughout the course of the show. I mean, I agree, but you will probably not be surprised to hear me say that I wanted even more power. I wanted to ramp up even more, but it was very good. She goes super Saiyan at the end. It's pretty good. Her hair turns blonde because she's super Saiyan. Hell yeah. I mean, I they should have, in the in the theme of taking everything to eleven, they should have just had like a nice, very chunky segment. Who is it in whatever Dragon Ball like Broly? Just like he's gonna destroy the planet, <laughs> just screaming eternally as he's overwhelmed with power. That's what See, I want. See, but I, my Broly sucks. I don't give a shit about Broly. His name's Broly, and he yells. Yeah. That's the, that scene is all I know. So that's my yeah. take on the character. That's not incorrect. The latest Broly, the Broly Super movie was pretty good, but mm. older Broly stuff is like, here's the worst stuff about Dragon Ball to people <laughs> like turned into a movie. <laughs> no, the, the the escalation was was good shit. I mean, Broly is mad at Goku because Goku cried next to him as when they were babies. That's understandable. Have you heard babies <laughs> cry? And he got stabbed with a knife <laughs> as a baby. I mean, you know, happens. <laughs> I assume. Ugh. Whatever. Fucking... Kill a kill is pretty good. What's uh... I like the thing where the nudists. It's all where it's, the whole plot beach. of the show turns into being about how clothing is aliens Evil. trying to take over the planet. I mean, that's a dumb way to justify the stupid outfits. Yeah, <laughs> but it's fun. I like that it becomes all about just everyone being naked, and just nobody gives it's a like, shit. Yeah, and like, and there's like a metaphor for you know, adolescence coming out of your shell or whatever, metaphor. becoming who you are, Don't. escaping from clothing. I reject your metaphors. 
I take They're this. Not my metaphors. I take this at face value. <laughs> this is a story about people fighting alien clothes. End of like period. That's that's all it is. Oh, okay. Don't read into it. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. Don't read. Don't read into it. I'm not thinking about it too much. It's that's just super basic. It's not complicated. It just is what it is. But it isn't. Alien threads. Weird alien threads. Weird. I mean, you know, uh, having seen having seen Utena now, the shit with uh, hang on, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Main antagonist. Uh, their mom. Rag Ragio Ragio. Ragio. Satsuki's Satsuki's mother. Um. Well, yeah, both of their mother. She, like, was really fucking creepy, obviously. Uh, That's some fucked up yeah. shit. But then I saw Utena, uh, and I'm like, okay. It's not quite as bad. It's still pretty <laughs> bad, but, like, it could be worse. pretty bad. Could be worse. <laughs> they didn't turn that up to 11. Thank That's Christ. Still I would have dropped. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm out. Yeah, no. Look, they... Uh, they went all the way. They knew where to not turn it, to just keep it at ten. Yeah. <laughs> the mother molesting her child. Keep it. At... <laughs> God, it was so much higher. So brutal, though. <laughs> it's pretty bad. That's fucked. Yup. But then they get to murder her. True. So. You know. Yeah. A <laughs> dude's uh a dude's nips really Yeah, but well, they're always purple. I mean purple is like they're fucking glowing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like with power. Well, cause like I know None of the main characters in Nutena like have nipples because it's like a censorship thing. So I don't know if the lights oh, and the... on his nipples are part of a censorship thing of how they were allowed to do that or what. I thought or none of the just, men just because it's a later show. I don't know. I thought the men in Nutena didn't have nipples because nipples are a sign of like impurity on a smooth, perfect body. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe that's true. <laughs> They, nipples get you to higher when I, higher rating. When I run when I run my hands down my chest on a hood of a car, I don't want them to encounter any bumpy friction. <laughs> Gotta be smooth and like just the no, like just those like they would have drawn nipples. Those characters were just naturally nippleless. <laughs> <laughs> just a coincidence. Yeah. I mean, it's not a it's a coincidence to us until they reveal that Akio like he he was doing his research. He sent those letters to very specific young men. Uh-huh. But no, the I mean, looking at uh like comparing it a bit to Atena, uh that tower, right? You got the yeah. big tower. I mean, uh -huh. obviously the fucking the student council duels, like, kind of right out there, but, uh -huh. yeah, it just, it's pretty wild. Like, just how, like, I never, I never heard of Atena at all, and then just to find out that it's... I mean, it's like when you find out a song that you like is just really a cover of another song. It's kind of similar, similar feeling. <laughs> like, I just didn't know how how close it would be. Mm-hmm. That's, I mean, yeah. The So many things are actually that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 100%. So, and I like, I like learning about that stuff for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Pluto is a cover. <laughs> is a fuck. It's better than the original, but it's a cover, you know. 
you know i was gonna i forgot to mention uh uh-huh. in our well i guess it's still relevant here but we were talking about with uh venom and superman and like the power levels and shit and how i love that and then here also relevant you know ramping up like pluto is still some of the best version of that even like just how powerful shit feels especially with uh uh yeah. light person whose name i can't remember photosynthesis man epsilon epsilon right 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 yeah uh yeah just great power level shit in that yeah so that's true fucking good (laughs) that also has the benefit of being like for adults and not teenagers (laughs) yeah (laughs) just as like what it's tone and attitude is so i mean and you don't get that like kind of power level shit in like adult stories yeah that well like ever (laughs) so i i don't have another i don't have another example like that i i just remember i've I've mentioned before but just reading some like garbage tier manga when i was younger and they literally they did like this stereotypical like I'm only using 82% of my power. And the protagonist is like, I'm only using half with a deadpan face. I thought it was the uh-huh. coolest shit in the entire world. Like four years later, came back to it and just cringed enough to break my neck. The Japanese love to just give percentages to shit. I've learned from watching anime. It's just a thing. I mean, they like to do. I, as a copywriter, I know the power of a good percentage in a subject line. <laughs> Gotta grab their attention. A 234% ROI really, <laughs> really grabs the clicks. But, no, oh, I mean, like, the power uh, power stuff, very satisfying. Yeah. I like the I like the unique abilities. That's, like, one thing... I mean, I guess I it depends on my mood. Because, like, I really do like the more <laughs> grounded. And uh, we talked about how Nintendo it's, like, a bit of a budget thing as well, possibly. Probably. Uh-huh. Yeah. But the grounded battles, like, I do like that. You know, it lends itself more to the, like, the what's real, what's not, what's a metaphor, what's not, that sort of deal. But, sure. holy shit, some of this stuff was, like, so good. In, in kill a kill for like the abilities like dude uh yeah what's uh what's big boy's name defense boy hit me harder mommy boy <laughs> like i can't guru 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 uh gamma guri yeah that shit's great like when they're just him he's like yeah harder and then he just fucking explodes there's a metaphor for you. Yeah. It's an orgasm. <laughs> I also find it hilarious that he's like 20. He just got held back. He just like stopped going to high school so that he could go to high school with Sasuke. Yeah, he's just <laughs> old as shit. After recruited him. <laughs> he's just actually an adult. Uh, yeah, I also I love the way they draw him where his size just... <laughs> Yeah. He is all fucking over the place. That's what I, I was fucking say. The cartoon that shit's hilarious. His cartoon shit is so good. Like in one Which of the sometimes he's fucking giant. Yeah, like in one of the late I think it was like one of the last episodes. Like very close to he's like people like literally just people are sitting on him and he's like the size of eighty <laughs> people combined. Uh-huh. Like that shit's that shit's a, a plus. Yeah. Cause like you know, that's the, that's the shit that, like, a show that didn't care. Yeah, these character, a big character, his size would change all the time. But they're <laughs> here they're like, no, we're going to fuck it. We know exactly what we're doing every time we do this because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> like, it's great. Just, you know. Another little detail that I just really love is um, the way uh, Ryuko and... Satsuki's dad gets drawn as like like he's from different anime. Like in the uh 
Ryuku flashbacks. He's like a Tezuka character with like his arched back and his giant nose. Yeah. And then like uh, in the Satsuki flashbacks, he's like straight backed and like he's like from a fancier shoujo manga. <laughs> Uh, and then they, 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 they later, like, you see him, like, physically fuck up his back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, those kind of, like, little details are just, like, the way in which they're, like, using animation stuff for how they were doing their flashbacks. It was just, like, as, like, an animation nerd, it was, like, hell yeah. Yeah. I love this just as, like, them having fun with animation. As much as anything. Oh, dude, totally. Well, and that's even like taking it's a big, it... big appeal of the of the show for me, for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, and that's the thing. Like, that's like the good, like the animation is the animation yeah. and sound and like design things are all like I think my my favorite parts. Totally. And that's you know brought to. <laughs> That's why Promare is so fucking good because it does that and then also is not like nonsense that I generally dislike. <laughs> it's not like about teenage girls and skimpy outfits and the characters ogling them. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Go, you know that, I like it I when know. that's not a thing. If I was, you know, eh. eh. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about how it's framed, at least, as like, yep, this is what Ryuko has to fucking deal with <laughs> as yeah. a teenager. Like, her life is a nightmare in this particular way. Um, mostly that, but like, you know, the transformation sequence gets all up in. <laughs> in there literally like, up in there yeah it's getting real tight so I, yeah like it's not i'm not gonna defend it i just it didn't bother me and then the show is good enough that yeah i'm yeah. over it by the end i mean i am i can i can look at it and say that like it's off-putting but at the same time sure. i'm in no place to fucking talk when we have me mm-hmm. on record talking about Berserk, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I... It's, oh, it's, it's definitely whatever. a thing of, like, they're... That's... <laughs> up front, that is what her transformation is. So if you can't deal with that, don't. Like... Yeah, yeah. Walk, walk away. Because that's still... That's the show. Mm-hmm. And I at least appreciate it in terms of like, you know. It doesn't it's ridiculous. It doesn't but. feel out of place. Like it doesn't Yeah. Well that's yeah, that's like that's the starting point. Is this stupid <laughs> outfit <laughs> and how it transforms? It's like just just shoulder pads and like you take the magical girl transformation. Which like even in Sailor Moon, like Sailor Moon's like turns into ethereal <laughs> nakedness. Like yeah. that's yeah, just, yeah. Uh, that's like tropes of the genre and just like tuning it up to the the this ridiculous degree, and then also combining that with ridiculous violence, which is there's blood everywhere or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you know, all and all the those heightened uh, adolescent something, emotions, something, all something, that shit. Uh, adolescence, teenage girl. Uh, yeah, her outfit needs her blood. It's true. It's, it's all a vampire very <laughs> sailor <cerebral>. outfit. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's where I would cut the line and say it's very stupid. <laughs> oh, dude, it's about periods <laughs> coming I'm of not... age. Read between the lines, uh-huh. okay? You don't. Uh-huh. You clearly don't fucking understand a true work of art. You're not appreciating it properly. You probably don't even own any look bikini Ryuku. Oh, I would never. Figures. I would never want a fucking figure of that. That's gross. No I shit. That. <laughs> I want that. Um, but no, like uh, I think, like obviously, there's it. I mean, I guess 
fan service kind of but like it it all fits in like you said like that's what you get and then it keeps yeah. going it would have pissed me off more if that was dropped and that's not like it just they bailed on that for some reason like yeah i remember trying to watch monogatari with with peter and it's the mm-hmm. one that has like for literally the first shot in the show is an intricately drawn just like way too much detail someone really enjoyed doing this like upskirt shot and i was like what the fuck and peter was like that's no, it's, like it's not like this i'm like then why do they start with that like what the fuck they want to hook they want to hook to corny teenage boys yeah i'm out that's like that's like shonen jump marketing 101 is <laughs> like the it's like the problem with it's just a problem with the genre yeah, but like, I'm like I'm out. They'll, they'll like put something like that pretty early on, and then like abandon it or whatever. But yeah, yeah that, so like it's also that, like there 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 is like watching Kill a Kill within the context of like yeah, this is like ridiculous, but it's kind of still it is just like it's doing the thing, so it's like doesn't get a pass, but it is kind of satirizing. Some of that stuff of like, but just like making it more re- like leaning into it instead of yeah stepping away from it or whatever. I mean, this has been I I won't fucking get into it past saying it, but like that's been the thing that I've seen uh, when people talk about the movie Cuties, which had a really fucked up Netflix poster, like. Uh-huh. But I think that movie is fine, but that's, like, been the big thing is, like, you're saying that this is wrong, but your film has the has the kids doing this thing that you're saying is wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's to an, I don't think it's to the extent where it where it overshadows the message that this is wrong. But that's been the main argument that people use. Sure. I, I have no idea about that. Um, well, you know, yeah. think these are not actual human beings. Well, yeah, drawings yeah, that people made. <laughs> these are just lines. Yeah. Well, I mean, the um, argument there was like, if if people are dancing nowadays, how are they dancing in a modern dance class? But anyway, I don't, I don't know. I don't have the context. Yeah. But again, like, kill, like, like, kill a kill, like. It mostly stands on its main character for me. Oh, a thousand percent. Well, I I can't. It can't even stand on its side character for me. <laughs> True. Well, I think once you find out more of Satsuki's background, like she's also really good. Yeah. But she's just like it, that takes a while to get to, to her story. Uh, she's it's building. I I like her even in the. I mean, like both. That's it, they're the they're yeah. the crutch of it for me. Just because mm-hmm. I mean her as a villain. Like yeah, it's overblown. I'm not a huge fan of the student council shit or whatever. But yeah, and then like, like it's like extremely like Vegeta Goku in like a terms of like this this one character like standing above the other one looking down on them. <laughs> yeah, well, and then, God, the the fucking flashbacks where she's like little and also still uh-huh. just a god. It's still that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay, like, fucking whatever. But the she was uh, set on this mission by her dad. Whenever she was murdered. Whenever they by her mom. Like whenever they do the thing where Sasuke is uh like standing up on the tower and it, like she puts her sword down and it's like a bright light uh-huh. the music cues yeah. are so fucking good oh yeah man dude the they m- know how to hit that shit yeah, so well do. it's great in terms of like dramatic over the top shit like yeah that shit just hits every time they do it <laughs> um yeah i guess like the the thing that turns the show for me is actually, I would even say before episode 12, because it's when Nui uh, Harme gets introduced as our villain. Oh, the cutesy chick? Yes. 
than just like the way in which she upends the the uh the power ladder that has been established so far yeah uh i think and and the way she just like a shows up with the other half of the scissor just wrecks house has that fucking i think that it, like the kanji on her eye or whatever is that episode 12 no she gets introduced she comes in in 11 i think i thought that she was first shows up 12. Cause I know that, cause I recognize the like summaries. she's there. Yeah, she shows up in eleven. Oh yeah, okay, eleven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I saw that, <laughs> like I had already experienced that, and yeah, twelve. Something. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember like what my exact thought process was when I originally bailed. Mm-hmm. I guess maybe, like, after... Was it just, like, that that 12 ends with her going to say they're going to take out every other school? Possibly. I'm sure that 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 idea was you were out on? Yeah, I'm just like, oh, great. More student council ruling the world shit. Maybe a combination of that, and then just seeing, like... We get this other character introduced to, you know... And I know how you hate um, introducing another villain... It it's depends. A hate. It depends. Like sometimes I'm fine with it. Yeah. What was the uh-huh. thing? Because Voltron. Well, Voltron. <laughs> that just pissed me off. I was not. I wasn't ready. They they pulled a fast one on me, and I just wasn't prepared. That one's funny because they literally bring the other villain back. After. <laughs> That's even worse. You're combining <laughs> two bad tropes. Not bad tropes, but no. Um, you know, it's just pet peeves or whatever. Things that are getting under your skin. Yeah. I, I think it, it was like, it was possibly that, like that, that general, that, that trope, but it uh-huh. might've also just been like, I didn't, and still kind of like, I don't really like the character. It's not like they introduced someone. I was like, holy fuck. Like mine just blown. Gotcha. So. Whereas I, I like her as a villain a lot. I think she's Although, like think one she's of my favorite fine. moments in the show is when her arms get cut off and then Ryoko steps on them. Yeah, that's that pretty, amazing. It's pretty good. <laughs> and her face just gets wider and wider. I love because I love a character that's like unflappable and then they get flapped and then you're just like they lose it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that is that's always great. Oh, Azula, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Azula is great. Yes, agree. <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, well, I also and I like the way they animate her. It's like sometimes she's like flat as she just like dodges stuff. It's just like a flat image. Yeah. Know. The stuff they do with her is an unstoppable, terrifying thing. It's funny. Yeah. No. I like. I think oh, she's. I, like I think she's totally fine. But. Yeah. yeah, I guess just at the at the time. Or maybe I just needed to, you know, it's Stockholm Syndrome. I just need to be, I just need to watch more anime until I can tolerate more. See, you just watch enough anime that you're, imme- like, you don't even fucking notice when characters, the female characters are getting ogled on. You're like, yeah, that's just the background radiation that life, it sucks, but it's just the genre. Of this no, kind of of no, adolescent no. anime, I don't know. You'll never, you'll never shake it from me, Hank. I don't watch anime. I watch experiences. I watch <laughs> not anime. Kill a Kill is not an anime. Okay, if it was, I wouldn't have watched it. Kill a Kill is definitely anime. Them's facts. Utena, a hundred percent not an anime. That's like the least anime thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. That's art. Okay. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it's art. Those elephants surfed. Pure art. Fuck. That girl <laughs> laid an egg, allegedly. <laughs> and then that egg grew up. Big egg. I think that's a dream. I mean, it did, like, big egg? Are you referring uh-huh. to? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. I don't. 
I don't know that. I mean, okay, a hundred percent. Never going back to the the first sixteen episodes of Kill a Kill. I That's fair. I can see myself probably just looking up some of the moments that I like, or maybe mm-hmm. an episode. But yeah, I am I am like glad that I finished it. Yeah, I think even I don't know. yeah yeah by the end like. When all the characters are, like, huddled up naked in a ball, I'm just like, man, they got here, and it's so fucking wholesome. (laughs) (laughs) Like, literally just all the characters hugging naked in a ball. That, like, that, like, literally everything built to getting there as being, like, this great, just nice moment. I was like, it was all worth it. It was all great. (laughs) This This is beautiful. This is a beautiful thing. And, you know... Tier six. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I now have the the knowledge I need to take a big old dump on Mako whenever it comes up in conversation. I have the power. Mako? 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 Sidekick? Mako. Oh, the character. The character. I didn't know what you were talking about. The character of the show we character. watched. I didn't know if you were talking about Mako Energy from Final Fantasy VII, <sighs> Mako the voice actor from Avatar. This is like... <laughs> Mako Sharks. Sometimes. Some show called Mako that I didn't know about. I mean... This is just like when I talk with Ani's brother sometimes. And his English <laughs> is very, very good. For I mean, you know, he's little still. English coming along, but sometimes he doesn't understand stuff. And, like, the last uh-huh. thing it was was he didn't know what cookies were. And Ani was like, "It cookies. He's like, oh, cookies. Instead of cookies. <laughs> just the same exact word with an accent. I'm like, come on. You knew that. <laughs> Cookies. Cookies. I just think of Cookie Monster. Oh. Cookie Monster is so good. Cookie Monster anime when? Nah, I don't want modern Cookie Monster content. Oh, uh, yes, you do. Because... You need that. You need that co- uh, connected universe. You need the Muppet verse uh, continuity. There's Cookie Monster, and then you have. Uh, you know, you just need clips of Elmo showing up on late night shows and saying shit he shouldn't. You should, Elmo shouldn't be saying. What if it's a what if it's a modern take on Cookie Monster, but it's like felt puppets, and it's from Japan, and it's I mean, by a Godzilla. Why can't team. it just be Cookie Monster? Cookie Monster is already pretty good. I don't trust modern America. To do Cookie Monster right, if I'm being I honest. I mean, they had him eating fruit. That's what happened. That's what they and did? He gets one cookie. Yeah. So he gets to eat lots All of All right, fruit so they already fucking destroyed it. Yeah, they don't deserve Cookie Monster. Give it to anybody else. If he's not going ham over, like... Goes ham on fruit. Does he get it? Is he, he like, did he cookie. do a 12-step program? I guess. Like... <laughs> I didn't watch every episode of Sesame Street to wow. tell you the deep lore. I just know I, that this I happened. need the deep lore. Does he go to other cookie obsessed Muppets? <laughs> Is he like a cookie sponsor? AA. Yeah, he's a sponsor for <laughs> <laughs> Once Cookie Monster, always Cookie Monster. Always one cookie away from relapse. No, see he gets one cookie. He still gets a cookie. Yeah, but the se- he's, he's so good. if he has a, a second cookie, he's one cookie away, dude. <laughs> it's true. It's a you're not slippery wrong. fucking Two slip. cookies. I mean, I feel that. I will. I have, like, no self-control around cookies. Like, I can't. Yeah. I can eat a single Lay's chip and just be like, yep. I, That's badness. I experienced a chip. And I don't really want any more chips. I just wanted a little bit of salt, and I'm going to move on. If there was a fucking tray of cookies, I'm like, buckle up. (laughs) It's 
my weakness. I, I, I yeah, with cookies, it's kind of like, I can eat no cookies, or I'm just eating cookies. Dude, I can I just ham. Uh, the idea of eating one potato chip, though, that's fucking madness. I mean, to be fair, I'll usually get a big potato chip. No, cannot. See, Anya, Anya and her siblings really like chips. They don't have them a ton. They still, you know, like maybe once a week they'll get a bag of chips or something. But yeah. they'll be like, Ben, do you want some? I'm like, eh, no. And then I'll have, like, sometimes I'll have a chip and then, like, that's it. But... It's so on occasion, I have the I have the right to get my own bag of chips and not share with anybody because I never take anyone's chips. So I'll uh-huh. just get a a bag of like weird ass flavored chips, like bratwurst with mustard, and I'll just eat the entire bag in like two minutes. Yeah, no, see that's what a bag of chips is there, and then it's empty. <laughs> like, what happened to the chips? Um, Where did they go? That. There's nobody else here, but I, I didn't. I don't remember eating up that many <laughs> chips. Who fucking ate my chips? <laughs> uh, I I am bad with that. Uh, Lay's chips. I like. I guess I'm. I can't. I can be bad. I mean, I remember that time when like I was craving Doritos, and then I told Paul, and he was he wanted Doritos, and we both <laughs> ate a fuckload of Doritos, and we both felt like shit. <laughs> Like on voice, <laughs> that was a thing. Um, yeah, but I'm my weakness is uh, like a a generic chip, like a Tostito or something, and then dip, salsa, like oh. a cucumber dip, a blue cheese dip. It doesn't matter. I will devour both the dip and the chips. I'm a I'm a no dipper, a no dip like an eater. hard hard like nothing ever. Nah. Okay. Nah. I mean that's you know I give me a give me a bag of Tostitos and I'll just inhale that shit. See, like I can but, I can eat Tostitos plain as yeah. well, but I can I can see with chips. I don't I don't take I don't have a a strong partial like if like saying that you don't do dip is not like craziness yeah. to me. Mm-hmm. I also just. No, like, weird flavors either. I generally stay to just salt. Weird Chips. flavors. Except, except I'll eat, like, my weird flavor is, like, I'll eat Cool Ranch Doritos. Sure. That's, like, the weirdest flavor thing I eat in terms of chips, I'd say. Yeah. Usually more of a, I guess, like, a original. I'll do salt and vinegar. Is like, if I'm going to stray from an original Yeah, I flavor. fucking hate salt and vinegar. <laughs> I just don't like it. Oh, that's fair. I That's understandable. I've I've been trying to branch out a little bit here because... I the mean, nightmare would be like, my parents come back with Tostitos or it's a corn chips, and it's like, with a hint of lime, and I'm like, oh, God damn it. Dude, <laughs> why? You've, why you've fucking poisoned them. chip? <laughs> I guess I, I guess I'm also, like, if either, I should say, like, salt and vinegar was, like, only for Pringles if I wasn't doing original. Oh. Hmm. And then, mm-hmm. like, for, like, a normal Lay's or something similar, uh, if it wasn't original, I'd go for, like, dill. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But here, they got more of those wonky, fl- like I said, they literally have, like, a bratwurst and mustard flavored Lay's chips. And I'm like, I didn't rec- I didn't know what the flavor was when I tried them, and they were like a little bit spicy but not hot. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's familiar, but I can't tell what it is. And I look, and it's like a, a soccer player eating a mustard covered brat. And I'm like, oh shit, they put brats in a chip. I see, it makes sense now. So they have like some weird stuff that I tried just to see what it's like. Willy Wonka style, I suppose. Fair enough. Like, why not mashed potato and gravy chips, you know? Why not? Chip meals. Imagine. I mean, Japan loves to do all kinds of fucking weird flavors. Yeah, dude, I'm for it. Over here. Yeah. Why not? I'm not gonna eat it, but why not? More, more choices. Somebody else will. It will. That's fine. 
Yeah. <sighs> well, this was a nice, you know, kill the kill, chip the chip. Chip the chip. <laughs> it's like Death Note. What do you mean? He eats that potato chip. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'll take this potato right. chip. <sighs> and eat it. And eat it. God. God. I mean, that would have that scene would have been better if he followed it up with uncontrollable urge to devour the entire bag of chips. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as someone who liked that comic book, that was where that anime lost me. <laughs> Dude, I tried rewatching it recently. I couldn't. It's too. It's a too much. It's not. It's not a good show. It was better left think. in my fourteen-year-old brain. Yeah. Of whatever age. I, I was. think it's still a, a good comic. I mean the uh, that book, the Los Angeles BB murder case, is still the. That was a weird thing. It's our most popular Pier 39 episode. People nice. people love that shit. I don't even know if we talked about the book in that I mean, episode. I mean, our most played episode of this podcast is the Berserk episode. So Really? It, yeah. That quickly? Wasn't like Ben goes to a football game? Like the top? Well, I don't have all the stats on the... Uh, from the move. since this is yeah this is since we moved from SoundCloud, gotcha, and it's like a lot of Spotify. It's like the only episode that like blew up on Spotify. <laughs> Weird. It's the berserk. Well, and like the next big ones are like the Digimon episodes are also yeah, but they're not as big as the berserk one. It's the easily the highest. Hell yeah. <laughs> And that's like it's quality before quality. he died. Quality show. It's like I mean, it's just weird that like I I shit talk that show during that episode. Like not have I had a bad time. I have a question. If you if yeah. you can, if you can muster the the, the strength. Cutting out the abhorrence of the last like episode or two or whatever, where like how would you feel about this show? Like if you can imagine the show without that, does it make it just kind of more eh, more average? The, Meh. the there was stuff in there I really liked, but like you see too much. There's too much of um. Fucking I forget his name. Guts Griffith. Griffith. There's too much of, like, Griffith being molested by dudes and, like, the background of that show leading up to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's kind of the problem. That it's, like, not just that moment. Like, there is that... The way that story builds up to that <laughs> moment is also no good. Yeah. I mean... And there's no... And it's just... To be horrifying. There's no, like... I don't know. I don't think... Does Griffith get molested? I know he, like, gets... Well, he's, like, prostituting himself. Yeah, yeah. But it's, like, his agency in the end, at least. Which is... Yeah. um, Until he gets caught. <laughs> more than the... More than the manga can say. Know. The manga is rougher in that regard. <laughs> Great. Not with him, but with uh, <laughs> child guts, which is, uh, uh, yeah. But after that, though, it's all hunky dory. Lots of demon I'm, slaying. I'm big sword. Uh, look, I'm just gonna stick to Jinji Ito horror comics. I think yeah, that's fine for for horrifying drawings. <laughs> Yeah. That dude turns himself into a spiral. It's fucked up. <laughs> is that he's the one that did the my hole, right? Like this is my hole. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, I'm down for more yeah. of his shit. Serial yeah. friendly horror, kind of. I would not describe what I'm reading in Uzumaki as serial friendly. Okay, well, hit me with it, dude. <laughs> seeing it in comic, like see, reading stuff, easier than than like a video medium.
he says as he remembers the robotic vein bulges from Akira. <laughs> also pretty bad. Um, Not as bad as the anime, but pretty bad in the manga. Yeah. Can't... Mm. Oh, there it is. This. Turns himself into a spiral. I mean, that's... Like, that's serial friendly. I don't know what you're talking about. Un, unsarcastically. Like, that's... I mean... It can be horrifying. But, uh -huh. with, first off, no context. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. Is this a rose from Utena? What does this color <laughs> represent? <laughs> oh, see, that's good shit. Yeah. We should do some of this. There should be an episode. Yep. We'll do Uzumaki. Hell yeah. Also, uh, speaking of roses, I'll end by saying... Although, I don't know when the... I don't know when the... Because they're making a show out of it. I don't know when the... Oh. That, that was why I started reading it. Because there was a trailer for it. And it was like 100% faithful to the look of the comic. Like black and white and everything. And it looked fucking rad. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, link that was that. why I got hyped. Link that shit. It's gonna be on Adult Swim. I guess it's, start, it's coming out uh, 2022. Rip. That's like another three years away. Uh, it's in, in, at the end of the world. In this, they, <laughs> I saw the end of the world. It was that trailer for Uzumaki. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just link you this trailer. But uh, in Halo, uh, I made my my uh -huh. player icon uh, a rose. So uh -huh. you know, I need to figure out. I need to revisit and see what color best fits me. What's my goal in Halo? So, gotta <laughs> determine that. I'll, I'll watch it. Played the shooter Splitgate. It's just an arena shooter, but also with portals, like from Portal. Yeah, I saw you mention. I saw. I saw it mentioned on Reddit, and then I saw you uh -huh. mention it. Yeah, I think there's a beta going on right now. Oh, it's neat. Nice. It is exactly what you would think from arena shooter, but also there are portals. I mean, I'd be you down to try, down, basically. Yeah. Also, black back for blood this weekend. I don't know what that is at all. I've seen that's it. just Left for Dead from the Left for Dead people. Right. Okay. I I knew that, and then I forgot it like three times because I I don't care yeah. about Left for Dead. You can tell because it has a four in its name. Uh, get out of here. Disgusting, <laughs> and it's and it's one short word and then another short word on the other side of the floor. Jesus. Oh, I'll I'll do I'll do some split gate. All right, we can end this uh, yeah, kill the yeah. kill episode. Chip the chip. The music's really good in kill the kill. Yep, I downloaded the soundtrack. Uh. Yeah, it's just fun if you can deal with it. Yeah. And I like how it ends. Yeah, I mean... Mako I asks her out on a date, and she's like, yeah. And then they go on a date at the end. Great stuff. Pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. Uh, SaltCirclePodcast at gmail.com, SaltCirclePod on Twitter... Spotify, Google Podcasts, all those podcatchers, like on Apple or whatever. I'm on Twitter at Comic Panels. You can find our episodes hosted at anchor.fm slash salt circle. I thought about just getting a dumb domain, but I haven't. But I'm thinking about it. Like to host? Yeah, just to redirect. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Like salt circle dot salt dot in or whatever salt dot <laughs> salt dot circle dot Hank. <laughs> I don't think Hank is a top level domain. Anyway, 
well, we can figure it out. Dot Ben, perhaps? Uh, Hank dot salt look, circle Just dot re listen to the fucking the insert song that plays during fights and realize that it's Ryoko singing and then the rap parts are fucking her clothes. What's his name? Sen- you ever said Sen- his name Sen- once? Senketsu. Senketsu. Junketsu and Senketsu? Yeah. So it's Senketsu singing the rap part. Did not realize. <laughs> It's pretty it's very good. funny. In English, even. Oh. <laughs> uh, peace. Peace.